Ever since the evolution of blockchain technology in 2008, we have seen countless, wonderful and unimaginable projects that are either being deployed under the blockchain or use the concept of blockchain to create, manage and maintain the ideas that they came with. Most of these projects try to integrate or combine the blockchain technology with other new technology like artificial intelligence i.e. in the Internet of Things are to solve real-life problems, in which some become successful and others become failures. In other light, others try to create their own independent blockchain platforms with specific features and functionalities. One such platform is the Ethereum blockchain which was an open source, public, blockchain-based distributed computing platform and operating system with a smart contract feature. Ethereum is a very popular blockchain that has numerous number of smart contract running on it, but recently due to the high number of smart contracts and an increased number of transaction per second that arise from a single game built under the Ethereum blockchain CryptoKitties. There is usually a cluster of the network which leads to a slow transaction which sometimes takes days to execute and a very high transaction fee. Ethereum blockchain is not designed to support decentralized application DAP due to its difficult learning curve, the high cost of maintenance, and inefficiency of more users using the DAP. A recently launched blockchain network out of China is poised to surpass Ethereum and EOS in network speed, efficiency, and functionality. When it went live in 2015, Ethereum brought a wave of innovation to the world of blockchain. Its introduction of a decentralized app ecosystem and smart contracts sparked new ways of thinking about the possibilities of decentralization prompting the initial coin offering ICO surge we've witnessed over the past 18 months. Three years later, the mother of all chains Moog has emerged as a network capable of outpacing Ethereum. How with multi-layered architecture that allows for microchain sharding and cross-chain transactions. Multi-layer architecture. Moog seeks to push decentralization beyond the scope of what current infrastructure networks like Ethereum and EOS can offer. In a blockchain system like Ethereum, there's no difference between a balance transfer transaction and a smart contract transaction said Mo Chief Business Development Officer Ian Wang in an interview with the author, all the transactions are handled at the global level, thus greatly limiting the TPS and the system level performance. In other words, Moog allows developers to differentiate transaction types to improve network efficiency, which is part of how they back up their claim of a 100x increase in transactions per second TPS over Ethereum. Balance transfer transactions are important transactions that do not require heavy computation power, however, most smart contract transactions require heavy computation power. That's why we introduce multi-layered architecture now all balance transfer transactions are handled at the bottom power proof of work layer the mother chain, and most smart contract transactions are handled at the top layer microchains. Moog also allows network participants to mine from lower power devices like mobile phones, incentivizing growth for network scalability. Microchains, smart contract as microchain SARM, and cross chains. This borderless approach is further served by microchains, Moog's unique implementation of sharding. Different DApps require different use cases and the current one-size-fits-all blockchain solution does not exist, Huang said. We believe it makes the most sense that, for each of these dApps, there's a standalone blockchain serving it. The blockchain is highly configurable according to the need of the dApp consensus protocols, number of nodes, block size, block generation frequency, etc. Each microchain has its own consensus module to ensure that developers can build networks that fit their specific needs, Moog has introduced ARM Smart Contract as microchain, which the team hopes will update the current DAP workflow.
Sam produces an app-friendly ecosystem that allows developers to create the blockchain that best first their use case. This creates a healthier ecosystem and increases TPS and system performance as more miners join. Moog. Moog's capabilities. Furthermore, these need to be able to communicate across blockchain something not possible in the current Ethereum ecosystem. This is where Moog's cross-chain technology marks another update to the formula. When blockchains are isolated, the communities behind each are isolated. When a hard fork happens, the communities get separated and become weaker, Huang said. Cross-chain enables transactions between different blockchains. Not only can we do a Bitcoin Ether transaction now, but also all the communities behind different blockchains, small or large, now become a large community and become stronger than ever. Moke isn't the only blockchain network seeking to solve these problems. Other competitors, such as fellow Chinese network on a chain, are eyeing them too. Where Moke differentiates itself, according to Wang, is the strength of its team. Moke co-founder and president Shaozhou was an early adopter of Bitcoin and blockchain technology publishing books such as Blockchain World and Blockchain and Big Data. By 2011, he started a mining company with David Chen, now the seer of Moke, offering the world's first 28 nanometer, 1 TB Bitcoin mining machine. Three years later, Sha and Chen co-founded Jingtum, an enterprise blockchain solution that emerged as one of the top five blockchain companies in China. Cross-chain ready. Cross-chain functionality enables Moog to interact with a variety of blockchain systems within the platform as well as externally to third-party blockchains and cryptocurrencies. The Moog platform is able to swap blocks and ATA between multiple blockchains and use atomic swap-based cross-chains. Cross-chains are a trust-based system for atomically swapping cryptocurrencies in a single transaction between various blockchains and cryptocurrencies. The Moog platform offers two types of cross-chains. Moog Foundation. All rights reserved. All content is confidential and property of Moog Foundation. One cross-chains between microchains and blockchains within the Moog platform. Two atomic swap cross-chain transactions with other non-Moog blockchain systems like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Mining. The Moog platform has two types of mining. 1. Microchain mining. Mining for microchains will be rewarded with Moog tokens and tokens associated with that specific microchain. 2. Mother chain mining. Mining on the Mothicane functions similarly to Ethereum and existing ETH miners can easily switch to Moog. Mining for the Mothicane is how miners can earn the Moog cryptocurrency. Tokens Moog's smart contract system is fully compatible with Ethereum's EVM system, supporting ERC-20 and the ERC-721 token standards. Moog coin market capitalization there are currently 56 million Moog coins in circulation, with an additional 94 million in reserve for a total supply of 150 million Moog coins. In conclusion, Moog is taking advantage of the faults of other blockchain network and providing a blockchain system where users don't have to worry about a clogged network, high cost of maintenance and high transaction fee. Moog is also the first to implement a unique microchain per smart contract. Website https moogio.com